My grandfather actually started the business in 1915. Up until that point, uh, his mother made the candy. When he was a kid, he got run over by a streetcar, lost both of his legs. They kicked him out of school. He had to go out with a third grade education and make a living. And he did it. But you got to go out and you got to work at it. Roman candy derived from the Roman chewing candy that's been here for over nearly 100 years. Sam Cortez, uh, my wife's grandfather originally, brought the family recipe to the streets of New Orleans 100 years ago. To celebrate the centennial, we wanted to do something special. We were all sitting around. We thought, what kind of way can we celebrate 100 years of this candy business? So, we decided to make rum. The connection came about because the original family recipe of the Roman chewing candy was made with molasses and so is rum. Well, we wanted the rum to imitate the candy, so the rum is flavored to taste just like the candy, but for grown-ups. <laughs> What we did is we, everyone involved with the business, the rum business, even the candy business right now, is family oriented. We like to keep that tradition, that heritage that exists here, that New Orleans is known the world over. The story of Sam himself, uh, how he overcame adversity, it, it's a great story about perseverance. So is the city of New Orleans. The New Orleans has been kicked down and kicked in the teeth a few times, but it's come back. like to party, they love rum here. A lot of drinks here made with rum, and uh, it's basically Caribbean influence here. The connection's just made naturally with the rum. And so we want to bring a great product to a great city. And keep it here and spread it worldwide, just like the candy is.